Hello and welcome to the first of two very special Hulk Vember videos. Now, as you might know, Hulk Vember was only meant to be like four weeks, and it was just a fun little stop gap in my video schedule while I wait and see if I can get better editing software. And the four that I picked were based off that idea, with them being bookended by figures from my past that had lots of sentimental value. These two were just more hypothetical holy grails that were going to be safe for a possible second Hulk Vember next year. But then I found them for like really relatively cheap and thought, what the hell? It makes sense enough that Hulk members should be larger than an actual month. So let's start with the first of the two and get things rolling. All right, as you can see, the first package is yet another of Toy Biz's tie-ins to the 2003 Ang Lee Hulk movie. The ever infamous Hulk dog from the iconic scene where the Hulk just beats the hell out of a couple of dogs. And it represents basically the last thing you would ever really need to collect from that line if you wanted a complete set of figures of sorts. Now what I mean by that is that the line has about two dozen versions of the Hulk, but only one really good one in terms of likeness as well as only one Bruce Banner figure and only one David Banner. So if you really wanted a set of figures that would encompass the breadth of the toy line without breaking the bank and having actually unique figures, it would be these four. So let's bust this one open and uh, you know see what it can do. All right. Now the first thing on the bat is the main toy feature which is that it says it has an electric voice gimmick uh, that really growls. Now, like with the uh, light up chamber playset that came with the Bruce Banner micro figure, I'm going to go ahead and switch out the cell batteries with brand new ones just to see if it actually works. All right, so the battery's been switched out. And according to the box itself, all you need to do is squeeze the legs together and it should open its mouth and growl. Now let's try it one more time without me talking. <laughs> All right, that's fun. Um, I'm not quite sure if that's how it sounded I like when it was brand new. You know how sometimes electronics and especially voice electronics gimmicks can uh, degrade over time. But you know, it sounds fun enough. Let's get a front view of that. That's fun. Um, I think what facilitates that off the bat is the head is actually a rubber coated material. Like the rest is like regular matte plastic, but the uh, the face itself and the head and the jaws and everything. It's a very pliable, very soft kind of rubber. It gives that nice flexible feeling. Uh, yeah, that's fun. I don't get tired of that. All right, so let's move on to the rest of what this can do. Apparently around the legs, uh, you know, around the hip especially, it does have some posability as well as at the ankles or at least the hind legs right here. Uh, which reminds me a lot of the recent He-Man Origins Battle Cat figures right down to like kind of the awkward poses you can get into. Yeah, and then the front uh, legs as well around the um, hips or front hips or wherever it is, the thigh, it also can go up and down and also some um, posability at the uh, hind or front hind legs or wherever that's called. Uh, so there's not much it can do. You can just kind of go from uh, sprawling wide and kind of like looking straight up or going on its tippy toes. Um, now the head looks like it can, or like it should um, move kind of side to side, but it doesn't. I think that seam is mainly just to allow for the rubber head itself and for whatever electronics go through the chest and everything. But you know what? It's, uh, it's nice enough for what it is. Um, like I said, it's much like those recent Battle Cats and uh, you know, it's a uh, it's nice to have. It's nice, solid, toy biz style um, molding and detail that we've come to expect from this toy line. And uh, yeah, really nice. Now, one thing I like to note is that um, the tail is very thin. It's very thin uh, plastic. Um, and what I've noticed from a lot of copies of this figure from the third market is that this has broken off in a lot of them. And I can tell why it's, it's not very put on there especially well. I think it has some swivel, um, but it does seem very, very rigid. And I, I'm not surprised that it snapped off so many. 
And in all honesty, given the general reception of the Hulk dogs at all, it's pretty astounding to have even gotten something like this. There were three dogs in that movie. This one, a brown version of basically this, and a French poodle. And much like David's figure, Toy Biz was basically taking what they could get, especially when it came to this one, because as I've noted before in previous videos, uh, this one has the Own the Hulk on video and DVD sticker, so it came from near the end of the line, and they must have been really reaching for things they could put out for this. And again, like David's figure, the only real value this has, or maybe ever kind of had, given how not very playable it is, is as a showpiece. It's like a paperweight, but it's a nice paperweight. It's not as interesting looking as David's, which is, you know, very, very kind of over the place and very chaotic, but in an almost beautiful way. But for a fan of the movie, it does help give the set a nice sense of completion. It would have been cool to have gotten like a Betty Ross micro figure or a Thunderbolt Ross figure. But oh well, at least we have one of the Hulk dogs. And so I'm going to post the requisite photos at the end of this. And I'll probably do some scale stuff in those photos as well, measuring it up against the macro figure, Bruce Banner, and a David figure. But first things first, I do want to bring out the punching Hulk and see how the punching action actually stands up against something like this. All right, let's see. All right, that's nice and satisfying. I do think that the uh, rubber nature of the head eh, gives a lot more give, makes me less uneasy about maybe rubbing off some of the plastic. Although I have seen uh, versions of this figure, like older versions, where the paint on the rubber has faded off very, very severely. So I'm gonna be, try to be careful of that. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is nice to have. And uh, let's see one last thing. Ah, now yeah, see? That's fun. All right, so um, thank you so much for listening and watching. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to have this and see you again next week for the actual final video of Hulk member. I can't wait to show you guys that. Uh, so have a good one and see you next time. All right, so before I go, I do want to mention that while fiddling around with it, I did notice that you know, the head can slightly swivel. It was just pretty stuck after almost a decade or two decades of non-use. And also the tail does swivel a little bit. It can go up or down, but it does fit a little more snugly and securely in the up position. Um, yeah. All right. So, piece coming up next. Thank you again for listening and watching.